Now in this part of the question then, just turning to the sketch that I drew in the first part, not that I necessarily expect you to have drawn the sketch here, but the principles are the same. What I've got here is the sketch of the curve C and I've got the tangent in that we found from the first part y equals 1 minus 2x, the tangent at the point P. And we've got to find then an equation for the normal at C and a normal is a line that is perpendicular to a tangent so if I was to say sketch this in it's going to look something like that okay and it's going to be at right angles. So how do we find an equation for this straight line? Well we turn to the form of a straight line which I always use as y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. x1 y1 point on the line well we know that that's 2 minus 3 so I've got that information I have just need the gradient and what you should know is that if you've got two lines that are perpendicular to one another there's a relationship between the gradients and we know that the gradient of the tangent the green line here was minus 2 and that relationship between the gradients is that all you need to do is turn this gradient upside down and change the sign. So if you've got minus 2 or minus 2 over 1 the perpendicular gradient becomes plus a half. Okay so let's start off then with that and we should be able to then get an equation for the tangent. So let's say that since the gradient of the tangent tangent equals minus 2 therefore the gradient of the normal all right, is going to equal 1 half. All right, turn the value upside down and switch the sign. Now we've got the gradient to normal we've got the coordinates x1 y1 so we're in a position to find the equation of the normal through P. Don't just do it, always give a subtitle. So we can say therefore equation of the normal okay, at P is. And what is it going to be? Well it's going to be Y minus Y1 so that would be minus minus 3 equals the gradient which we know to be a half multiplied by x minus x1 so x minus x1 that's going to be 2. Now it said find an equation for the normal at P and so essentially we've got it. So you could leave it like this but it does look a bit untidy. So we could possibly change this to y plus 3 equals a half bracket x minus 2 you don't have to put this in the form y equals mx plus c, you could still just leave it like this. I must admit I always like lines like this that have got fractions in. I like putting them in the form ax plus by plus c equals naught, where a, b and c are integers. So if I was doing this I would most probably multiply by that 2 to both sides. So that would give me 2y plus 2 threes are 6 and if I multiply this side by 2 then this becomes just simply 1 times x minus 2 so I get x minus 2 and then I would just leave that x there I would subtract 2y from both sides and I'd also subtract 6 from both sides so minus 2 minus 6 would be minus 8 and that would equal 0 so that would be my answer but as I said earlier any one of these will do okay and uh, that brings us to the end of this part